Hello, my name's CD. I've got 30 minutes of free time, and I'm going to play a free game called Grime. They're not all going to rhyme, that's just a coincidence. Um, it's, it's just free, and it's called Grime. I'm just going to skip through the intro, because it's really slow. You'd think the game was about to begin, but no, there's more intro. Here we are, two and a half minutes later. The game begins as you're slammed into the ground, ready to take on the world, and you get to move very slowly to the right. Uh, this appears to be one of those hand-holdy intros. So, I will skip through the hand-holdy intro and catch you on the other side. So you join me here in the lovely named Weeping Cavity. Uh, this is where you get the first taste of souls like Uh This obelisk thing is a bonfire, though not entirely sure about that. You found it! Noise. Ding, ding. Doesn't really fit the rest of the theme, um, but okay. You can spend the uh, mass you get from killing things. It's called mass, it says on there, um, to level up. Same sort of thing. Souls, runes, etc. It's, it's standard affair. So, the block mechanic in this game absorbs things when you attack, or when you get attacked, even. And then absorbing things gets counters up, and you unlock abilities from the things that you absorb. Then it's just a matter of finding the closest obelisk, which, if you look on the map, is literally right next to where I am right now. Um, going in and then activating the ability. Well, okay, it's not as easy as going in and activating the ability. You need these little red diamonds to grow the ability. And you only get them by killing certain monsters. Certain monsters like this. You can tell it means business because it glows red when it's going to attack you and you can't block it. <laughs> There we go. A hunt point gained. That's the thing that you need. The little red diamond for upgrading your ability. You also pick up gear and things throughout the map. I've got an axe and I've just picked up some prickly weeper chest. I imagine there's lots of items to pick up in this game, as usual. True to form in these games, if you die, you leave a pile of debris and then have to go back and get it. Uh, in this case, it is a screaming husk of your former self. Before we speedrun back to the corpse, we can use the monolith to activate the hunt token we just got and maybe even add a little bit more health and strength or dex, depending which weapon you prefer to use. It's the usual situation helpful stranger on the opposite side of a wall telling you that it's only a matter of breaking it from this side to get a shortcut. Doesn't then tell you that there's a horrible boss ahead that you need to beat the shit out of. Oh, here we go. Camera zooms out. Boss mode activate. few minutes for me to figure out what was supposed to be going on here. Died uh, one or two times. The block mechanic was supposed to be used when the bosses are attacking. You absorb its attacks as you do with the smaller minions. Don't know why I didn't link the two together because it's been telling me to do it the entire game. But, as soon as I remembered to do it, it suddenly became quite easy to defeat the boss. I have a feeling that that mechanic will be used in the majority of bosses throughout this game.
is a decent side-scrolling platformer Souls-like game. For free, it's perfectly fine. Don't know if I'd buy it, but um, it's worth a shot. It's free until the 13th.